Hello all, uh, the intention of this video is to find out uh, how to use XML generator transformation in Informatica. Before starting with actual mapping creation, we'll just find out the scenario. Uh, let's say we have a table called select star from HR dot employees. Uh, for our convenience purpose, we'll just select first four columns employee ID first name last name so our intention is uh, over here there are totally 107 records so our intention is to create uh, one XML file for each record and we have to so there will be uh, 107 XML files and we have to club all those XML files uh, into one target so what we'll do is our mapping will be something like this we'll have source as a table or a flat file after that we'll have XML generator transformation and uh, finally we'll have a flat file So this will be the relational table. This will be XML generator transformation. And this will be flat file. So for each record coming from the relational table, we'll pass those records to XML generator transformation and XML generator transformation will create XML file for, e for each incoming record that each incoming record will get ultimately saved into flat file they will start creating the mapping we need to import the source first employees mapping create XML generation Uh, we have to Im Im create XML generator transformation now so when you try to create XML generator transformation it will always ask for uh, either XSD file or the XML file or the DTD file so uh, before creating the XML transformation or XML generator transformation what we'll do is we'll first create a XML file of the records which we are expecting so over here we have four records uh, we'll create a simple XML, XML file will employ uh, there are totally four columns we are passing employee ID first name last name and email ID, ID. the OEMP ID as one first name x first name 
last name y and email z we'll save this xml We'll import this XML. We haven't closed this bracket, that's the reason it was giving the error. We'll again import it. We'll be passing only first four columns employee ID, first name, last name, and email. And uh, for this, we'll create a sequence generator transformation. Now the remaining task is the target uh, we have already created one xml one csv file which will have only one column that is xml so data output will be connecting to xml our mapping is valid, we'll just validate our XML generator transformation so where if you see email ID has string data type has only one character so we'll increase that to 100 similarly for first name and last name we'll increase that to 100 and employee ID is the integer so it will be fine We'll save the changes. We'll save the mapping again. And now we'll create the workflow. Workflow. We'll create the session task. We'll link the two tasks. We have to specify the source and output file path. Source, it's a Oracle relational target. And for output file path, we have to specify it. So our out output file will be located at d colon infra work folder put file directory output file name we need to change it to
We'll save the workflow. Workflow is in valid state. We'll run the workflow. So it got completed successfully. Source fetched 107 records and same number of records got inserted at target level. We'll just open the file. So if you see there are totally 107 records. We'll fetch one record and we'll open that in notepad coding So if you see we have successfully created the XML file using the XML generator transformation. Thanks for watching this video.